So the whole process of fusing plastic bags is very simple, and there's tons of videos all over the internet showing you how to do so. But here is a crash course in case you've never done it before and you want to get a basic idea. So what you're going to do is you're basically going to grab all of your plastic bags that are lingering underneath the kitchen sink and anywhere else they might be hiding. And next you're going to also need your iron. In addition to your iron, you're also going to want parchment paper. And the parchment paper is going to make sure that the plastic does not get stuck to your iron. Now here I only had parchment paper sheets, which I would suggest using parchment paper roll. This way you can cover larger portions. And you are going to have to change your parchment paper quite a bit because the ink often gets stuck onto the paper itself and then gets stuck onto the plastic and makes a mess as you're going along. So just keep some extra sheets ready to go. Now, very important point here. This should not be a stinky process, like literally stinky. You should not be smelling burning plastic. There should be no smoke or fumes involved here. If there is, your iron is up way too high. You want to keep your iron as low as possible, but also at a point where it's bringing the plastic together. Basically, it's going to be several sheets or several plastic bags on top of each other to create a nice heavyweight material in between like cardstock and mat board. I've even pushed it through the sewing machine and it goes through just fine. Um, hand sewing, it's perfect. And just to throw other ideas out there, they're great for book covers, art supply cases, anything that you need a heavy duty waterproof material for. I would say that you want to keep the plastic moving. You're going to flip it over from one side to the next as you're heating it up because it does tend to curl when it heats. So what you're going to do is just heat one side, flip it, heat the other side, flip it again, and just keep getting it until it's flat enough to work with. And what you might also notice is that I'm cutting bits and pieces off of other plastic bags and using it almost like collage style. So that's something you can think about also. Um, if there's some interesting words or some interesting elements, or you could just cut out interesting shapes from some of the plastic bags that are super pigmented with color and uh, to try experimenting doing something fun with that. I mean, sometimes it comes out awesome and other times it might be a flop, <laughs> but you never know until you try and you experiment. Now that there's less and less plastic bags out in the world, thank goodness, um, you might not have as many plastic bags as you once had, but you could also think about the plastic bags that food comes in that goes into the freezer or goes into the refrigerator, uh, bread bags. What you'll also notice in this video here is I'm working in small manageable pieces of um, fused plastic here. And if you want to make it into a larger piece for maybe a bigger project or just to kind of merit some other opportunities, just fuse the edges together after you finished creating your sheets to create a larger piece of fused plastic. You'll find that perfect heat setting for your iron. You know, each iron's different and best way to figure it out is just by doing so. So gather up all your plastic bags, cut them up, fuse them together, and make something super fun. What would otherwise go into the trash? So have so much fun with this process. Be warned, it is a bit addictive. And if you do make something and share it, make sure you tag me in it because I totally want to see what you made. All right, bye, have fun.